Yes, Trips is the Munch Guy, and today we're here at Santa Lucia Pasta mm -hmm. with Sarah. Hi, hi everyone. From Food and Gems, I'm sure he's all are very aware <laughs> and seen Sarah's face everywhere. That's very kind to say. On TikTok, <laughs> mainly, I would say. Mm -hmm. Most followers are on TikTok yeah, at the minute. Yes, most followers are on TikTok, but I'm growing Instagram quite quite well as well. So uh, that's been good, yeah. Enjoying it? Yes, I've been loving it. I really like Instagram because there's more of a community. I think TikTok yeah. is more of a discovery app, which is completely fine. I think there's um, a set of people that love TikTok. But Instagram is where I have a lot of communication with yeah. different people, which I really enjoy. Yeah. That's where we came across each other anyway. Yes, yes, yeah, on, yeah, for sure. On Instagram, then I've met you a few times on here as well. Yeah, yeah, which exactly. I do love it, yeah. yeah. So, mm -hmm. Quite a thanks, Santa Lucia Pasta, for yeah. having us in because it's stunning on here. Yes. Obviously, they've got in here, they've got the deli, they've mm -hmm. stopped the road. Yep. And they've got the merchant. Yeah, city they've got a merchant city well. restaurant. Um, that was the first one, was it? On, in, yeah, so they had one in Virus Road uh, that was pre COVID. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And then that shut because obviously it was during pen the pandemic. During that time, they also had merchant city, which, which just opened. And that lasted throughout the pandemic. And then they opened the deli, then they opened uh, the restaurant. So, I mean, Testament to how good their food uh, and service is. Definitely yeah. says a lot about them. They yeah. keep opening more and more. Yeah, exactly. Especially when places are shutting. Yeah, exactly, exactly. <laughs> so it definitely yeah. says a lot about them. Yeah. So, Food and Gems, mm -hmm. that's where it all began. Yeah. <laughs> how did that come about? Right. What was the idea behind that? Right. So, Food and Gems came along when it was during the pandemic and I've actually, personally speaking, I've always shared things that I like, that yeah. I like, that um, I explore whenever I travel or whatever it is, but I just do it on my personal time and on my personal accounts. Yeah. And then during the pandemic, I was unemployed and I started like a YouTube channel because I was bored. <laughs> I was really bored. <laughs> Everybody <laughs> like, doesn't even get lost yes, in YouTube. Yes, exactly. I'm, I think a lot of people can tell I'm a bit of a type A person, so I was really <laughs> bored. And I was doing all kinds of creative things during the pandemic. I was lucky that I had the space to do it. Yeah. So I was painting, I was doing crafts, I was doing yeah. YouTube, all this stuff. And then after the, the lockdown kind of eased up, I started posting on TikTok because I was like, oh, okay, things are opening up again. Why don't I just share all the places that I've been going to yeah. that I really like? So initially it was like randomly posting things on TikTok. So I have one extremely viral video from 2020 of travels to Thailand and meeting elephants <laughs> and that video has about like 30 million views or something <laughs> yeah which is it it's was so random it's that it was, many people have watched yes it, it was during the one. pandemic when random things were going viral yeah. like Bella Porter's face and uh, stuff you know what I mean so that was a bit wild and then afterwards I just started posting about like food like Jay's grill uh Jay's barbecue and grill yeah. in the West End and Singlen and stuff and then the video just started Video started blowing up. Taking off from there. Yes, it, it took off from there, and then I started because I used to do food blogging like years ago as well with another friend in Malaysia. Right. So I was like, maybe I should just let's Cut try it. it. You know what I mean? Like, yeah, sure. Like, like let's see what course. what video is like. I've been doing some. Um, I I did marketing. I did social media. I played around with YouTube. Why don't I just try on uh. TikTok and Instagram? So that's when it started getting even more of a consistent Snowball hobby. And like yeah, and then. From then on, it's become content creation on my Job. part. So it's been, it's been great. Yeah, uh, it's been it's been a, a side hustle for sure. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, yes. I think I, well, me as well. That's kind of where I started, like on my own page. Mm -hmm. Because I'm mainly kind of a food and also having the kids. I yeah. try and post more yeah. family related stuff uh -huh. as well. Mm -hmm. um, but then when you're posting it on your own account, it's like, mm -hmm. these people are like, and my mates really interested where I'm going for my dinner and stuff like that. So. It was that work somebody said to me, I think that's two two years in May that mm -hmm. I've, I've been doing my yeah, repaid. Yeah. So, um, so he's like, I work, why don't you try that? And I was like, nah, that's not me. <laughs> yeah, uh -huh. Like doing like posting, I said, nah, nah. Mm -hmm. And then obviously one day I was like, I'll just you give it a what? try. Just, yeah, I'll just give it a try. I love going for it. Yes. I've got all the time. So yes. why not? And like, yeah. when I started, I never started to get anything from it. Yeah. I never like, even now, like I, I don't do it because I want anything. Yeah. But it's, you're aware of it. there's a lot of people that do it for not even the enjoyment they just want, want, mm -hmm, want. Mm -hmm. people just want things don't they and to be fair that's fine if that's the goal but yeah. like I genuinely like enjoy exploring things you know what uh, I mean I've been doing yeah. it even 
prior to this, just Aye. on my personal time. Like, you know? Even though if, yeah. if I never get an invite again somewhere, I would still be going to yeah, still exactly, post about exactly. it. Yeah, so, exactly, exactly. I'm the same, and I would still be just making content that I yeah, like. Yeah, exactly. And sharing you enjoy it? I enjoy you Yeah, enjoy exactly. So, yeah. I, I can't even know. I can't believe that's two years. I yeah, I know. Me, I, think I think it's the same as me for probably about uh, over two years now. It's like so many people <laughs> didn't know. Yeah, yeah. Very. It's become quite a big boom yeah. in Glasgow. I think uh, a lot of people have, or a lot of businesses as well, have caught on yeah. that content creation. Like social media is actually a great way of marketing. Hundred percent. Yes. Anna. 100%. <laughs> as opposed to, I mean, as opposed to paying an agency like a TV agency, for example. Yeah. five six figures Aye. but then you're working with like local content creators to exactly. share about the business it's great yeah it's great i don't know if you've got like a good week community as well so you're yeah. going to like events and stuff like that yeah exactly meeting different people yeah so like that's how i kind of met you and then yeah everybody you kind of uh, talk to you now yeah yeah it's the same sort of in the community, uh, yes. the community <laughs> the great. yeah yeah it was at the start there was two of you yeah food and gems yes so okay I'll, i can i can uh, share about that a little bit <laughs> so yeah briefly so it's it's i can't share too much yeah it's, like a, it's, a, it's, it's a personal thing but we were friends yeah and we were friends for a long time and something happened between the two of us that was it, it didn't really have to do with for the gems mm -hmm. it was a personal thing yeah. it was outside of that and it impacted food and gems yeah. and Realistically, Food and Gems was a thing that I created because I wanted to enjoy the space. Yeah. And it was impacting it negatively. Yeah. And I just didn't want that to happen anymore. Uh, you know, so we basically parted ways because yeah. I was like, I don't want this to affect both of us. Yep. I'm taking it on because this was my thing uh, to begin with. And I was like the sole creator at first. We collaborated and then it didn't work out yeah it was like it was kind of, yeah Aye. it was kind of like a breakup but yeah. it's it's fine and she's moved on to her from own outside thing. looking in it was a clean cut yeah One exactly and just, exactly, yeah. exactly. And, <laughs> it, and she's moved on to yeah. do her own thing now and i've moved on to do my own thing exactly. so it's it is what it is you know it's like life. yes it's no, life I mean, you know yeah. one of the things yeah yeah we move forward yeah <laughs> it's, it's a shame it was really sad but what can you do? Sometimes you just have to make these exactly. decisions and exactly. you grow up and then, exactly. you know, these things happen and then you learn from it. Circumstances change. So. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. It's definitely not affected you. Yeah. <laughs> well, <laughs> yeah. I, I try not to, obviously flying. I try not to show that on food and gems or anything because like, it, that, again, that's a space for sharing exciting things. Yeah. So I don't want it to be a place where people are like... Doing good. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Do you know what I mean? Keep the spirits yeah. high. Yeah, yeah. exactly. But then we'll move on and then we'll say you're not originally from Glasgow. Yeah. <laughs> Malaysia? Yeah. Well, people are surprised by that. <laughs> I know. Is my accent Never like yes. yeah, <laughs> Is my accent um, like Glaswegian? Because I thought that I have like a bit of a mixed no, it's accent. A, it's a, a, a twang. twang yeah, yeah, right. So uh, I've I've had a few people get really surprised when I say I'm not from here i've uh, been here for like 10 years have you been here as long yeah time, i've or? been here for 10 years i came here to study right um what I'm, studying? so originally i have a degree in architecture um and then i shifted and i came here and i'm and i studied environmental design which right. is like it's like design thinking and all that kind of stuff it's it's the art school so i'm an art school person yeah. <laughs> but um I studied that and then eventually it kind of like again I pivoted because mm -hmm. I wasn't I, I sat well with brands branding commercial things yeah. social media whatever it is so I, I kind of like my career has kind of shifted exponentially towards social media actually uh, social media branding marketing all that kind of stuff um, but yeah it's been 10 years I'm originally from Kuala Lumpur Malaysia which is where I went on holiday for three weeks uh, yeah, for Eid and stuff. That, yes worry. yes <laughs> And I'm not Glaswegian, but somehow I found uh, I sound Glaswegian. But my partner is Scottish, yeah. so it could be the Robin heavy Hall, influence, yeah, heavy definitely. influence of his family. He's from Motherwell as well, so the accent's a little bit more He's neutral. Yeah, yeah me, exactly. Yeah. So very similar twang, uh, slangs, and, and things that we say that I've picked up from his family and yeah. himself. So it's it's good to know that I sound Scottish. So. <laughs> <laughs> I'm really happy about that. There's definitely certain words in that. Your, yeah, your yeah, ears, for sure. Uh, yeah. So then, hold in Malaysia. You was it three weeks you were away for? I was away for three weeks. In the middle of that, we went to Indonesia as well. Mm -hmm. So it was three weeks in Malaysia for Eid because my family's Muslim. I'm, yeah. I'm not a practicing Muslim, 
So I, I went back to see them, celebrate with them, because I haven't been back for 10 years for Eid. So it was really nice. Like, yeah. It was really cool to see what the city was like yeah, during the, the holidays, yeah, how it changed after 10 years. And, and then we went to Lombok, which is like an island really nearby Bali. It's like two hours boat yeah. ride or something just to do nothing <laughs> just to be on the beach it was, <laughs> yeah, it was perfect it was great doing that then now? yes how was the weather on that then it was really hot I, oh, like malaysia yeah i mean like i, I can't complain no. do you know what i mean like i rather sometimes i rather have to shower three three times a day <laughs> and but be in the heat then uh, do you know what i mean then, then be curled up in like the cold and darkness uh, so the weather here in minutes have rough. It's yeah, about, I know. It's quite nice this morning. It's been yes. nice in Italy. Yes. For the last two or three months. I know, exactly. Totally... I know, like, when I left, the, the weather was pretty shite, to be yeah. honest. But, like, and then it got worse when I left because I kept getting, like, messages from friends, from, like, family, yeah. like, oh my God, bring the weather back I with know, you. Like, oh, beautiful video. I'll say, when the people have seen it on your TikTok, that yes. different activities now you've done, like, yes. it just looks stunning. Oh, every, yes. Every video, it's like, amazing definitely yes. somewhere now bro i wouldn't have thought you going yeah prior oh yeah, yeah, your yeah. Videos yes now. Great. Lori, so great do it yes go to kl there's tons there's tons of places uh, to visit like honestly how, so see so back family friends uh -huh. like, nice to catch up with everybody then. yeah yeah it was great i usually go back every year anyway um as much as i can to yeah. be honest but i have a lot of friends so in malaysia it's quite multicultural right. we've got like tons of ethnicities so i'm considered a malay malaysian and then all of my friends are like chinese malaysians indian malaysians however yeah. so i usually head back during chinese new year like luna new year right and it's usually a completely different atmosphere because there's like lion dancing there's like fireworks everything's red you know what i mean uh, like it's, it's different so but yeah. this time i went back for a muslim holiday mm -hmm. so again it's a very completely different atmosphere yeah, because so it's like there's different traditions, there's different music, there's different foods, different vibe all totally, around. Totally yeah, so vibe it's just wonderful and, you know, it's always nice to see my friends as well. So my friends and family, like I'm much like, I'm close to my family, but we're quite dysfunctional <laughs> <laughs> like as of family, everyone, as of everyone. Family. So like a lot of my friends are considered my family as well. Yeah. So it's like visiting that type of family, like chosen family. Uh -huh. So it was really nice, like just to see what everyone's up to. Every year it, it changes because like I'm only seeing them like once every year. Uh, <laughs> so people's so, lives change week to week. I know, it's wild. Year year, it's uh, wild, honestly. Oh, like, I mean, like obviously food, food wise when you're there. Yes. Oh, Amazing. food. Of course, it's amazing. Uh, <laughs> like the best, one of yes, like, uh, one of the videos that I shared was about the Ramadan bazaars. Mm -hmm. So that's like an annual thing in Malaysia. I don't know if it, if any other Muslim country does it, but every year there's a month where tons of people will be kind of trading food, and it's it happens like from four p.m. to seven p.m. before you break fast during yeah. Ramadan. And people will go and buy food or whatever. They take it home and then they wait to break fast. Yeah. That's the tradition. But the food that you get is like incredible. incredible. Traditional Malay foods, some fusion, some uh, halal. A lot of uh, everything is halal. Uh -huh. Halal Chinese food, halal Indian food. And it's just like tons of everywhere. everywhere. It's stunning. Starving. And it's like, oh I know it it's amazing. great. Oh. And it's it's very affordable as uh, well for, for, especially if you're British or Scottish and you're traveling there. Uh, it can, like, well, even it can be expensive to eat out here. Now. Yes, exactly. Right compared to place. yeah, compared to Southeast Asia, yeah. definitely it's a lot. Like Southeast Asia is just way more affordable. Uh, <laughs> yeah. well, I think, obviously, kind of like the Glasgow food scene mm -hmm. at the minute mm -hmm. is mad. Mm -hmm. There's so many. I agree. There's so many new places open. So many high quality places open. Yeah. I think for the outside, for me anyway, obviously with kids and stuff. They're making it more affordable, especially mm -hmm. through the day, lunch time. Yes. Yeah, yeah. Maybe two courses, three courses for, for set prices. Yes, and stuff yes, like. yes. I think probably now place, places need that. Yeah, 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 for sure. Obviously, they need the high quality food and stuff as well. Yeah. But probably in midweek to get yeah, yeah. custom. No, generally, I think that they're. I think because like the food scene is growing so much in Glasgow compared to ten years ago, which was it, even just nothing. even the last <laughs> couple of years. Yes, it's been I know. Mad yeah, it's grown so much. There's a lot more um, different types of foods. Yes, yeah. I There's, think it's time to say like buy a see like chain restaurants. Yeah, yeah. A lot of yeah, we run a lot on small and medium-sized yeah. businesses that yeah. are like local, locally run, 
And I think that's fantastic because they we don't are. have that many franchises. No. And I've seen like, see the Hard Rock Cafe and stuff that are shutting down. Yeah. I don't know if it's shut yet, but shutting yeah, down. Yeah, yeah, shutting down. Mm -hmm. I don't think there's a place. For, no, there's not a place for places like that, but I just there think is, chain restaurants yeah, right now. Is I think just... that we really rely on ourselves mm -hmm. for the businesses which is fantastic because if you compare it i just came back from kl if you compare it to kuala lumpur mm -hmm. kuala lumpur has so many franchises because right. i mean it's an asian country yeah. so we've got like chinese japanese korean whatever it is and it's so commercial and quite capitalist to be uh, honest it's very what do you think the changes the change has been then especially in like in glasgow also in glasgow especially like I Boom. think everything well, you look on social media, somewhere new, yes, somewhere thrown in your event. Well, I've I've had this conversation with my friends before, and I think a lot of people want to do things. So yeah. meaning, it it doesn't have to rely on just going to a pub yeah. and just having a drink. Or going out for food now is yeah, massive. Thing, yes, uh, going out for food and doing things around food or drinks. So like over the weekend, I did. Uh, I went to an event in Princess Square with Charlotte Tilbury and yeah. um, Glasgow Cocktail Week. Uh, I see that. And the the event wasn't really kind of revolving around the alcohol. It was mm -hmm. revolving around the makeup. Yeah. So it was quite nice because like there were like these lovely girlies just like surrounding the makeup and everyone was talking about it so seriously. Uh, and it was like everyone was sharing an interest and a hobby that was personal to them but then yep. they found a community so i feel like there's more and more people doing that where for example another person that i know kirsty she's kirsty's kitchen on um on instagram she, out yeah that kirsty's kitchen <laughs> she also hosts a uh monthly book club right so i think it started off from like 30 people and now there's like 300 uh, do you know what i mean uh, so that kind of shows grows. that there are people who are interested in more than just drinks uh -huh. they want to be friends with other people they want to talk about their interests they want uh -huh. to discuss books you know or sometimes you don't even have to read the book you just want to be with people who like uh, fiction who like you know i can't see i'm and a big reader <laughs> i'm not i'm I struggle i can't yeah i don't have i don't I have the listen, attention span uh, for a book i can read comics uh, graphic novels i can listen really well uh, i can buy for podcast, videos podcast yeah podcasts, yes i can listen uh, but i can't i can't read either so like uh, I've, i'll probably i've never tried audio books but so I've have you tried audio i've books? done it once and it, I did, it's just last night a podcast before. Yeah. it's a random book it was i don't know if you can ever remember the Peru <laughs> too hmm? So it was two girls. What was that? Two, exactly, right? <laughs> yeah. I was obsessed with this. So it was two girls that were in Ibiza, one for Glasgow, one for Belfast. They were in Ibiza mm -hmm. for like the summer or whatever they were doing. Okay. And then they get, Things happen. They get forced to oh, okay. smuggle drugs from Ibiza. Oh, right. No, from Peru. Oh, right. Back to Ibiza. They okay. get caught. Yeah. So the girl for Belfast released a story. Obviously, make a cut off. Oh, wow. Okay. I was. Like zoned in in oh, story. so you were really engrossed. Uh, so was, audiobooks work well for you then? Yeah. <laughs> so I put that on, but I think that's the only one I've done. Yeah. But I think I should start doing that as well, because then I can join these book clubs and like actually uh, talk right. about it. It's like, I say, I read it, but actually I listened to I it. Listen to <laughs> it's it. a different way yeah. of consuming content. So I know. It's mad. But yeah, like, like, I think that's the growth where it's like not, I'm not sure about like the older generation, but mm -hmm. definitely like people our age and younger. Yeah. are more interested in different types of um activities and being more outdoorsy just going out yeah going out but like it doesn't mean that we have to go to a club or we have to go to a pub uh, you know what i mean can you go to a club now too for that pub, sometimes i, I like food, to go to caddy sometimes <laughs> but only on on days where you know you need to be in the mood for uh, it You're out a person rather than make i do i i'm a pot person as well i really like going to pot still yeah just traveling in pot still but like there are days where you're out with your friends and it just gradually evolves into a caddy. <laughs> caddy don't, like don't going to cat wrong. house in the four no. corners vibe, you know I've not, what I mean? I haven't been in cat house yet, but <laughs> don't get me wrong, there is... My days have rolled into nights yeah. many times. <laughs> yes, exactly. Yes. Same. And I think that's the best type of night out. It's right. not planned. Right. It's a natural progression. You go for a few and you just end exactly, up. Like exactly. Like yeah, 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 exactly. Yeah, yeah, exactly. But then they're doing the... Oh, what was I seen the other day? Just more topic clubs here. Mm -hmm. The daytime club. What's that? What? Daytime clubbing? So I don't I seen Martin Combs in that. I don't know if they what they were promoting. So clubs are opening earlier. Th through the day for older people. Oh, okay. I don't know if it's over thirty or over twenty five. I don't know. Okay. I've not done enough research. Wait, wait, older this. people is what like what demographic <laughs> would you know. mean older people? Like 
our age? Or like, I would say... Like the I elderly? Think you, I think you may be too young for it. Oh, because okay. Because they looked slightly older than us. Oh, okay. I don't say they were old, but I'm not sure the age range, but right. say 30. Right, 30 okay. and above. Okay, okay. Roughly. Right, right, okay. Uh -huh. It was like daytime Cobbin. Interesting. Uh, okay, okay. Uh, 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 well, what uh, type of music? I think it was just as if it was the like next actual, oh, okay, actual okay. nightclub music. Okay. Because like, like, I know that there are some uh, places, I can't remember what it's called. It's near it's near Mono, do you right. know, in Trongate. Uh -huh. And there's like a swing club. Right. I can't remember what that place is called, but I'm sure some people can point, pinpoint it. It's near Mono and it's at the corner. And every weekend it's mobbed. It's mobbed <laughs> full of older people who right. love to swing dance uh -huh. and it's really? such a vibe uh -huh. it's a really like i've been inside just to like no, have yeah. a look <laughs> uh, just lately i've seen it's people great, talking yeah. about it and i've seen advertising i thought i think it would catch on for sure uh -huh. yeah <laughs> mad yeah how but, times change i know <laughs> so we're going to your tiktok then yeah. obviously you're now in the 100k club hey, you've, oh, been right. it, you've been in it for a wee while i suppose <laughs> but was that a ta like a target? Do you have targets? Do you set no, out to like... No. Oh, oh, it's your hobby. And, yeah, sorry. yeah. So, so yeah, it's a hobby. You're enjoying doing it. So mm -hmm. do you set out a target? Do you go like, well, I'm going to try and hit 110. I want to try and hit 120. No. Well, Just so, let it naturally grow. So for TikTok, it was a natural progression because initially, remember I told you there was that one viral video yeah. that kind of like kick-started the account. I saw it takes over, it seems yeah, like exactly. one, one, one video. One super viral video yeah. that kickstarted that cut. And then which is a random video again. But then afterwards it was more like oh actually there was a there was a time after it during 2021 where the growth was like insane. Right. It was crazy growth. Because all the videos kept getting pushed out more. I think now TikTok algorithms are a little bit different. Like they, there's a lot more know. rules. There's a lot more, uh, you know what I mean? Like I think it's become more like YouTube where yeah. they're trying to kind of monetize more, whatever it is. That's fine. That's just how it is. But at that time when it was kind of cowboy town, mm -hmm. <laughs> you could just post whatever you wanted. Yeah. And it would just get pushed out to people who are using TikTok. Yeah, regardless and of what it was. Wasn't it? I was yeah. shook when we, like at that time, it was me and the other person. I was shook at the time when we actually like reached 100k because I was like, oh my god, how did how, how did this happen? happen? Oh, like 100k people in the UK, amazing, like man. what? And then now, obviously, it's like kind of a slow progression of growth, which I don't mind, I don't care yeah. because I feel like that's normal. I think now it's just it is what it is. It's not no longer like a burst of growth. Uh, it's a steady, steady growth now. It's a steady growth uh, now, and that's okay. In, in, but it's very different from Instagram because on Instagram, because they've changed what they want, the platform itself has changed what they want in terms of content so many times, no. like photos, carousels, all it's this stuff. To, oh, it yeah, for? it's really difficult. And I feel now at this very moment, they're pushing videos, reels, yes. all this type of interaction or whatever. So this is a good chance for people to also grow their accounts. Yeah. It might change again though like you just don't change know tomorrow, it just keeps changing man. yeah so it's just have to adapt and that's, that's, that's it. what it is you know <laughs> things get their own wee sort of spin on things yes they? exactly so yeah 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 keep being you yeah you, you do you. yeah exactly uh, and for instagram itself i'm almost reaching 40k which is great mm -hmm. i think that's like such a great mi milestone from when i started because i feel that instagram is a lot more difficult to grow definitely yes especially the amount of people that follow you and yeah. they don't follow you yes exactly <laughs> and it, like, it's yeah exactly yeah, up and down up and down uh, so it just really depends but for instagram i am trying my best to grow it as much as possible because yeah. i feel like that it has more weight when it comes to opportunities when you have like a bigger account yeah. for instagram for tiktok i feel like Everyone knows that there was a time and place when it was like an exponential growth. Yeah. And I'm not saying that I don't appreciate it. I'm very grateful about it. And it's opened a lot of doors, but I'm definitely more heavy on Instagram because, you know, I just think that businesses rely a lot more on Instagram. Uh, I definitely like, think that what way. it is. Yeah, like... I don't... I had TikTok for a wee while, but I was never like <laughs> bothering about it. Yeah. It, it was actually the life and my son that was seen. They should be doing more on that uh -huh. to try and push it. I'm like, it's a different vibe. Maybe, uh, Instagram is. is maybe my comfort blanket. Yeah, me, well, that's the thing. Like, because for TikTok, they're looking for different things. Yeah. It's just, uh, it's a different vibe from Instagram. No, Instagram, I think Instagram is for like millennials. So, <laughs> millennials and above. So, it's a little bit more like, I don't know, not to say polished, but like more 
more curated, right, I guess, yeah. right? As opposed to TikTok, which can be pretty random. Definitely. Do you know? Yeah. Right. And you have to be able to be quite sharp and quick with TikTok. Yeah, Sometimes I'm not sharp uh, at all. So. <laughs> I think you need, to, you need to be constant. Yes, like, constant. Every, day, you every single thing you have to be, you have to spot something that's an opportunity and post about yeah. it. And I'm just too slow. <laughs> I can do that as well. I'll do that today. Yeah. I mess about with the Mora. I'll mm -hmm. post it mm -hmm. on Wednesday. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. By then, the trend's over. <laughs> There's about three new trends. Yeah, nah, exactly. exactly. That's something I miss the boat all the time. I know, exactly. Yeah. Not, I definitely have no sleep. I mean, it's slowly growing, but mm -hmm. again, I enjoy doing it. So yeah, I'm it's enjoying like, more, probably more now, but I try not to let it consume me too much. Yeah, 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 of course. Because I, I can be bad for like, say, or I can be like something like. You're a family man yes, as well. My so, my yes, my yes, father, yes. Husband, Yes. <laughs> I can't just be messing about on my phone, but <laughs> there is times though, like yeah, I'll be yeah. sitting and I'll, I'll scroll some, and yeah, I'll be scrolling and I'm like... It's like brain rot, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> That's how kind of a December, January time there. Uh -huh. I just came off, like... Yeah, social media. I came off Ultra, yeah, we were yeah. having Finley. Yeah. Um, and I was like, no, I'm not sitting close How to are you it. juggling it though? So now... Now he's actually a great baby. So okay, obviously yeah. I did at school, yeah, yeah. Kind of, the kids at school 93 yeah. with Finley. I'm an early riser. Okay, so right. If I'm out for food today, yeah, I'm up early tomorrow morning. All I'm right. up before Finley. I can right. have an hour to as myself. quickly as possible. Yeah, a wee hour, do, yeah. sitting pot about. Okay. If I need to edit, edit, okay, cut, right. whatever, and try. That's in most of my posts are like six a.m. <laughs> yeah, right. I see. Okay. okay <laughs> so my posts are for everybody getting up in the yeah, morning. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I can't think that's not a bad balance. Okay, that's good. That that works for you. Aye, so it works, yeah, yeah. There can be things I might be sitting on it too much. Right, so that's okay. On me, hey, that's fair. It happens. Balance. Don't that's worry. Cool. Yeah, it yeah. happens. Yeah. <laughs> also, we'll talk about the opportunities now that yeah doors open for you now. Obviously, with with the growth in that. Yeah, I different PR different ads. Well, yeah. So the PR stuff when we when I first started, it was a lot of takeaways and a lot of you know that's fine. You know, yeah. a lot of people who understand that social media can be beneficial for their business so they invite tons of people so yeah if you look back at some of the content it was just like a lot of random businesses uh -huh. and a shout out to i think the first one was it was like mill guy ice cream melts melts ice cream i don't think they're open anymore that's a shame was that your first that was the first that was the first right. invite and it was like melts ice cream and mill guy and it was just an ice cream parlor right. and it was so cute. Like it was really right. cute. It was fun. We, uh, went and had ice cream and stuff. I don't think they're open anymore now because I think that they might be in an awkward position when it comes to location. Yeah. But they were really nice enough right. to like be the first person to, to invite us. Have, yeah. And then afterwards it snowballed like, again. Yeah. So, 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 see, that. Yeah. so see the feeling yeah. and not seeing that. Yeah. We still say that getting an invite. Yeah. We still get that wee buzz now. I do, uh, especially if it's a business that I'm really keen on working uh, with. So, like at this moment, because the account has grown so much, I do get a lot of like messages and invitations yeah. and stuff, and I reply to, to them. Like, as much. And, stuff like that. <laughs> yeah. and I invite, I invite. Uh, sorry, I reply them as much as possible mm -hmm. just to show that I'm respectful and yeah. thankful for their, their invitations and stuff it d does get really hard because i do get a lot of messages yeah, you know so especially when i'm on holiday and there's like unread messages i'm just like oh no and it's uh. that panicking but nowadays i get a lot of inquiries from like different businesses so recently i did a partnership with just eat which yeah. was like i thought that was amazing because uh. like i feel the team at Just Eat are like so great to work with. They're so fun. They're so open to ideas. Oh, yeah. They're very, they hired me because they wanted to work with me in my yeah. style, which is great because then they gave me creative freedom. Obviously, mm -hmm. we had a back and forth to collaborate and stuff. But can I let you do what you want? So yeah, like, yeah. Uh, and that was fantastic. And I, there will that's be. That's good though, but yeah. be, they want you. I yeah, mean, exactly. No one, We'll take you, but we want you to do yeah, this. Yeah, exactly, exactly. I mean, and uh, I've had I've had uh, clients in the past that were a little bit more brand conscious and stuff, and that's fair. Mm -hmm. Fair, you've got guidelines or whatever. But whenever you're hiring like social media content creators or influencer yeah. or whatever, there has to be a little bit of trust in terms of creativity. No, of course, do you know what I mean? I, and I feel like there are certain people with specific styles yeah. in the space that you would want them to use their style no, for more. You know, but yeah, it's been. 
great. There have been wonderful opportunities that, that I've had. For example, last year I went to Transmit, which was great. Oh, and yeah. like, that was so fun. Uh, I think, it, who was it for? Uh, it was the day when Pulp was on. But it was just so fun to go around Transmit. Ah, uh, cool, so, you know? And then... Did you just go back on Tank Crane when you were there and stuff as well? Yeah, right? so that's it was great, for... That's a great it's fun, event. yeah. Know, yeah, it's, it's a great event. It was fun. I was... I think and I did two videos. Was that through Transmit? Was it out to you? It was through... I think it was through Transmit, uh, yes. And it was... I did two videos promoting the food, mm -hmm. um, the food trucks there, and also the... Just the general. It was yeah. a vlog. And it was great. Like, it was ah, so fun. Yeah. And... You know, it's fun to work with like marketing managers and ah, PR of companies because like they they understand that you it's it's a it's a beneficial between both uh, both parties. You know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, and it's fun. <laughs> uh, do you think so? You know, I don't know if you've seen now. Would you think they've transitioned from mm -hmm. obviously I know there's been food reviews mm -hmm. that, uh -huh. that kind of bread and butter to start with. Kind of would you say? I'm so I'm on the. I'm, I don't think I'm a food reviewer, to yeah. be honest. I think I'm a person that just shares things that yeah. I like, right? And it started with food because I'm quite passionate about yeah. food. I'm passionate about food and drinks from, based on my background, where I come from, I think it's just, I just want food all the time. <laughs> I think I just want food. But I'm also someone who wants to showcase activities. Yeah. Activities, experiences, because I think that I don't like hearing people saying Glasgow is boring. So I was just like, do you know what I mean? Tons, uh, yeah, that. tons of people are just like, what are you doing in Glasgow? Even like, in like, Glasgow, there's so much. There's so much. And so in Scotland much. in general, there's yeah. so much to do in Scotland. Yeah. And I've when I moved here, I think because I'm like, I, I wasn't Scottish. Or, or I, I consider myself Scottish now, but when I moved here, I'm Malaysian, right? Yeah. I'm a foreigner. I had this mentality of I need to see as much as possible. And I was surprised that locals haven't seen things. So I was just going to say, yes. I could probably guarantee you've seen more of Scotland than yeah. me. <laughs> Hundred yeah, so, percent. I'm kind of like, why? You know what I mean? Like, so I don't, like, I, I don't know. I think it's I don't like, know if it's ignorance or arrogant. I don't know. I no, don't know I think it's just like you. It's comfort because, like, uh, oh, you know, like of course we know that Scotland has all these landscapes, whatever, and we've seen it on the phone. Uh, but I rather so just I've go overseas, seen overseas more, you know? Yeah, I've, and, I've seen something on the phone. Like, <laughs> that and that's ridiculous. fair. Yes, and it, it's fair. It's like I don't blame anyone, but I, it always confuses me because I'm like, there's so much to do, so uh -huh. I want to showcase it. So if, if you don't want to do it, at least you see it on my video. <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, it seems to me, do not I? just watch the videos. Yeah, exactly. But it's, it's, it's crazy. Mm -hmm. The things that are in Scotland to see. Yeah, there's so how, much. Like, I'm just doing for me, for example. Done. Yes. I mean, how little I've seen of it. Is, you really is, need to I do know, like a road trip or something. There's do. tons. Like, you can even North do like... Home, North Coast. I'd like to do that. Even, yeah. even if it's like... Even if like a road trip around Scotland is a bit too difficult because let's say you have to juggle yeah. tons of stuff with family or whatever it is, you can do day trips. So you can uh, go to Isle of Butte, you can go to Arran. And uh, there's so much. Yeah, it's so nearby uh, and there's tons. There's tons for you to see I know. and do and lots of food, lots of landscape, people. It's and great. I'm sitting in Mother Woman. <laughs> <laughs> Mother Woman's developing as well in a new train station. <laughs> They're needing that. They're needing that. But, so, yeah. <laughs> aye, mad. Mm. So, so, the now, like, the most fun kind of a PR you've done? Kind of a the most fun night? PR. Let me have a think. I've done quite a few mm. fun ones. Transmit was one of them. That was a great I, one. Yeah. So, did I see oh, a couple, a couple of people? I do know what the most fun was. Go on then. It was the Highland Cow. So, yeah. Just my... watched that again this morning. Yeah. So, I was like, I've got to do a bit of homework here. Yes. Like, just watched so that again. I did. I'd seen it, but I was like, yeah, so again. that was like. It was an overnight at a hotel called Kilmere Arms in Aberdeenshire. Mm -hmm. Was it Aberdeenshire? No, Dumfries. It was in Dumfries in Galloway. And one of the activities that the PR company kind of organized for me was, oh, since you're there already, go and check out the Highland Cows. And I was uh, like, yes, because I you? love Highland Cows uh, so much. And it was like this whole safari of this farmer just bringing us around in his tractor which is great it's just a bunch of us on this, this tractor oh, fantastic. yeah cool. and just like looking at cows and like talking about the cows and they were there was they're like purebred there was like 20 to 30 of them or whatever there was like one bull and like an alpha male it was great it was yeah. so cool and it was quite unique i think because i think there's a few safaris around scotland but i feel like it's just so fun to learn about 
house. I don't know what it is. Especially like, young ones, now, see it. The black and white ones exactly. are boring. And it's so but, Scottish as well. So yeah. I, I just loved it so much. Like uh, it was so exciting. Yeah, yeah, it was really exciting. I love activities like that. So uh, outdoors. Yeah, outdoorsy stuff. Like very specific to Scotland. So like even the this one wasn't a PR. This was a trip that I did to Isle yeah. Barrow. Right. I really wanted to do the plane, like the flat flight onto the, the uh -huh. beach. And that wasn't a PR event. That was just me it going, yeah. yeah, me going to the thing. And it's so fun. Like, I don't know what it is that here's a funny story. So <laughs> for that Isle of Vara video, I was like, okay, I really want to make a video about the flight and everything. And I have a follower on Instagram and she texted me saying my son, who's like five or six at a time, really loves this. Cause I shared like, stories at first of the flight like yeah. getting on the beach or whatever and she's like oh my son really really loves this and he's really sad that the stories are going to disappear because like he's just watching right he's Aye. just watching the videos of Aye. the plane he's only got the type photo Aye, exactly things, yeah. and i was like don't worry i've got the video like ready I'll, I'll edit it and i'll pin it and whatever so it's pinned on my my instagram, instagram because of this one boy because apparently this boy watches it all the time and he's That's memorized no, he's memorized everything i've said on That's like he can recite it and this what the moms are like he can literally recite why do a TikTok then, i know the, the I, was, well, I was telling i was telling her like oh can you please like record him just uh, but he's a, apparently he's really shy so i was uh, like okay that's fine but anything, that's really anything. sweet i think that that's uh, really absolutely. sweet and that's like an example of why i love doing it because mm -hmm. that's something that i'm interested in yeah and i'm sharing it and then there's uh, someone that connects with it you know what i mean like i can kind of on the same track as that yeah. so it was actually last night mm -hmm. i got a message i went to wind wind spring farm mm -hmm. it was just 10 per car 10 okay. a car doesn't matter me that mm -hmm. we family day out took mm -hmm. the kids brilliant i posted about it on my tiktok uh -huh. and i put it on instagram not sure mm -hmm. but i put it on tiktok and like everybody was kind of saying oh where was that but yeah, i was yeah. just telling them about it and they messaged me last night saying thanks for posting that mm -hmm. like every second person came oh was that's saying, lovely yes for you yeah. we're going to be doing pumpkin picking in like, in october oh like, that's we, so we, nice during the kids come on that's probably the first i think that's the first time somebody's actually been like really thankful like thank you for it yeah i know i know i know i i love that so much i see no one that's, that's brilliant yeah it uh, makes like a slight difference even even if it's a small one even if it's just especially one person now, that's like, even for like family days out i know myself taking the kids to software yeah it's expensive oh, so for mm -hmm. them to have like a wee event was this massive event mm -hmm. wee event between start see, through april uh -huh. terror all right yeah <laughs> yeah Honestly, that's brilliant that, yeah i can't solve this so they're yeah. happy, uh -huh. yeah, happy. Yeah, I know. It's <laughs> yes, exactly. Aye. Yeah. It's excellent. Yeah. So obviously then we're in Santa Lucia. So is it Santa Lucia? Santa Lucia. <laughs> Santa Lucia. Santa, Santa Lucia. Lucia. Yes. So we're in here today. Mm -hmm. Where did the collaboration come uh -huh. for you? Oh, with Santa Lucia. Yeah. So Because it's a fantastic place. I yes. Everybody loves it. Everybody I'm, knows all of it. I'm one hundred percent biased. I love it. I yeah, and yeah. And, and, and I work with them and for them and she's not just saying it because yes it's yes but i genuinely love it so uh, it started off they i think it was two years ago and they invited me to make a video just to promote merchant city so yeah. just to try it i think it was the summer menu and just to promote it and the video did pretty all right mm -hmm. it pre did pretty well i did one for the deli as well and the deli was fantastic the deli is really good got yeah. I'm yes, the, 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 the antipasto box. Yes, I know it's one of the best so value good. items like Unreal. from the deli, and people oh. love it, especially if the summer's coming. Like it's perfect. the perfect, yeah. Right. Um, but yeah, so I did some videos for them, and the owners, Martello and Mariano, they really liked the style of video that yeah. I posted. So they were like, they they kind of suggested, would you be interested in working? together with us and i was kind of like oh, i don't know like maybe we'll have a meeting or something yeah. and discuss it because i'm a uh, self-employed person so mm -hmm. i'm freelance and i have multiple jobs so i was kind of like i don't want to do full-time anywhere yeah. i want like different jobs in different yeah, locations right can choose. Yeah, yeah yeah i can choose and i can manage my own schedule uh, and you know like yeah basically i'm just i can't work full-time because <laughs> uh, i just get bored like i'm I, I just get bored so easily so we had a meeting and they just really really wanted to work with me so yeah. i said okay we trialed Fantastic. it they trialed it yeah they trialed it and i genuinely 
really like Santa Lucia yeah. Merchant City in Delhi. And then when they opened this, I was like, I mean, the food's uh, great. I eat here all the time. So I genuinely loved it. And the only reason why I'm still with them is because I really like their business. Yeah. Like I wouldn't be paid to promote things that I don't enjoy. You yeah. know what I mean? Like, and, yeah. and especially because... But I think you can tell that with people. Yeah. So you, you come here, so you, mm. you can see like, your passion and stuff for here. Uh-huh, yeah. You see other people, maybe. <laughs> yeah. I think you can see you're so robotic. Like, uh-huh. No, you like other people. Yeah, yeah. I mean, you don't enjoy it. Don't, exactly. Don't see yes. you enjoy yeah, it, right? and I'm because like I, I have a past in working in marketing and social yeah. media and stuff, and I used to have to do that as a mm-hmm. job uh-huh. for companies that I didn't particularly enjoy or like yeah. I didn't like their products or whatever. But it was just as a uh, it was a job, right? So yeah. I had to do it. But this time I really considered it, and I was like, okay, I'll I'll. I'll take you on board as a client. I don't have any other clients. It's just them (laughs) because I'm like, I really love Uh working with you and they're the owners and the staff. They're great. They're fantastic fantastic people to work with. You came to the the opening night here. Mm -hmm. What to make that? Yeah. Yeah. It was was great. It was so fun. I don't say I played everything, but I brought my mom with me. I think that was the first time I had. You brought her I to a PR a, event, I think yeah. So, I, yes. so she was like, "Oh, okay, enjoying it." <laughs> and, and your daughter was like loving it as well. Uh, she she was getting gelato. She just, she <laughs> just loves dessert. being out and about. She oh, just I loves that. So she cute. On, she's shy now, but just loves people and loves oh, everything. Oh, so but cute. We just sat right there. Yeah. Uh, uh, but the food done it was fantastic. Yes. Just, they've done the wee competition like from my floors and that mm-hmm. as well. Mm-hmm. Uh, but, oh, yes. So good. Aren't yes. It? So the macro I had. Mm-hmm. I don't think many people. Oh, the get, mackerel pasta. I don't think yes. many people were getting it. Yes, yes. So yes. I think if you first you go, oh, yeah, I don't know. Yeah. oh, it's so stunning. good. Yes, oh, it's like yes. Unreal. They're like they're kind of like changing up their concept as well. It's still pasta, but yeah. they're doing like regional menus now. So I think right now they're on Sardinia, but the next one is going to be Campania, which is like right. I think Na- Napoli mm-hmm. region. Yeah. And then they're also obviously the Paris is now open so yeah. people can have spritz outside and stuff like that. The so, coming but for it too, I know, right? I know. But I really love their food and I love working with them. They're they're also people that are very open to creative creative thinking. New ideas so yeah, and new stuff. ideas. And I actually, think you need that though. You yeah, need yeah. That. And the owners as well always give me ideas as well. Uh, so they're like, why don't we try this? And then I'll try and deliver it or whatever. And it's very collaborative. Uh, they're yeah. very open to just trying I think things. Both, yeah. They we won't mind you, but mind. Yes, exactly. I think you can see also your passion for yes. the place and yes. the ideas yes, and the love for the food. Uh, I mean, like, and most of the staff are Italians as well. So, you know, what they're like when it comes yeah. to food, they're very particular about how they deliver the food, how they cook perfect. it. It has yeah. to be perfect. And if there's any criticism, they have to try and improve it as much uh, as possible, which I really respect for. Owners you struggle for criticism though. Yes. Yeah, you criticize them here. <laughs> you know what I mean? Like, I mean, you'd be surprised. There are some people. I can imagine, but yeah. like, <sighs> it's it's more like, from what I see, if it if it's in terms of people's preferences, that's fair because mm. like in Scotland, some people might prefer Scottish Italian, yeah. which is a different type of Italian food. Here, it's very much Italian yeah. food, like like handmade and like the certain types of sauces. It's not heavy on like butter or cream or yeah. whatever it is you know what i mean i think you can see that when you bring the dishes well, yeah exactly the exactly yes yeah you know, oh, yeah yeah i'm looking forward to getting fed today yes <laughs> yes yes <laughs> um, yeah so what about your uh, i've got to say i've got to go into like my favorite cuisines and stuff right favorite but cuisine? we're here so what's your favorite dish oh in santa lucia pasta yes, Ooh. before we go into your favorite cuisine mm. try not to put you in the spot too much <laughs> well they change their menu every every other month or every other season so i'm a do you not big even have fan. your own dish they keep it on for you all the time no? they do have some stuff so like the <laughs> most famous one is the lasagna frita which is oh, that, that's like a that's like a um scottish italian vibe yeah. that's like a innovation and i feel like that's the most popular i really like that but if i had to choose a oops, sorry if i had to choose a dish it would definitely be the truffle pasta Mushroom truffle pasta. I think that's, you said you were getting that the last thing. When yes, I was yes, speaking, yes. Yeah, that's right? that's one of my favorites. And and yes, the pasta with the mussels and clams. So it's like white wine mussels with like this yeah. type of. It's called um, bucatini. It's like a spaghetti with like a hole in the middle. So it's like hollow yeah. spaghetti. Yeah. So that hole in the middle kind of soaks up 
a bit of the butter and uh, the white wine and stuff. Oh, it's so sorry. good. It's so good. And because the weather is becoming... Thing, I know you can send talk about food. For <laughs> I know, yes. Mind. And because the weather is just getting warmer, which I hope it will stick throughout summer, Yeah. that type of pasta is just really refreshing yeah, and really nice. Like, it's it's not too heavy, mm -hmm. which I prefer, because then you can have it with, like, spritz. Uh, <laughs> yes. Nothing more so than that. Too heavy it's too much yeah and then you just feel like you've overeaten and you can't yeah. do anything so no i much prefer like that type of pasta around. exactly uh, exactly yeah <laughs> uh, did you so you've tried the mackerel one so i had the ma yeah i had yes. the mackerel that yes. night i can't remember what my mom had <laughs> can i remember yeah but i had a couple of things but i'm all i love the daily yes like i do love in here i'm not yes. saying and the one in the in the yeah. city yeah you're visit. at the deli the deli more often probably <laughs> well to be fair the deli is really good uh, like their focaccia and their sandwiches and stuff are like fantastic mm -hmm. and uh, everything is like good. freshly made so yeah mm -hmm. that's fantastic and it's very busy all the time like uh, just like see if someone's busy no. all the time it says a lot about it mm -hmm, mm -hmm. You know, even like we were saying earlier on so they become after covid and be opening more and more yeah yeah and there's a lot of like regular kind of loyal customers as uh, well which is 100%. great to see yeah uh, people just love coming back uh, which is great <laughs> that's, 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 that's great good. yeah oh it's fantastic yeah. so we'll kind of uh, I'll round it up in a minute but okay. we'll you're hosting a dinner party okay mm -hmm. you can bring two guests two guests who are you bringing and what are you making uh, like dead or alive dead or alive oh anyone Anybody. anyone okay oh uh, oh, okay. I have an answer. So two people. Yeah. The first one will be Freddie Mercury. <laughs> right, right. Freddie Mercury, because I'm. I just desperately want to meet him. Uh -huh. I just like I, it's. I, I always every time I rewatch the film about Freddie Mercury, um, Bohemian Rhapsody, mm -hmm. and just like you know watch his um, Queen's music videos or live music, whatever. I'm just like. I, I'm so sad I wasn't born during this time because I feel like it's like a, a, a holy experience uh, just being near him and just like being in his presence. presence. So I just want to meet him. And the second what person... What songs are you singing at the dinner table though? You, you, can, you, you can sing a song. Well, I, I, am a, I, am, I am a basic girl and I really like Bohemian Rhapsody. So I would yeah, love to hear him yeah. scream Bohemian Rhapsody in, in my face. <laughs> Do you know what I mean? Yeah, in the living room. It would be amazing. I would love to hear that. And the second one, this is a tough one. I think it would have to be an artist. So Van Gogh, Van Gogh. Yeah, because, because so I, I, See what I, I like about these answers. Yes. This is not answers. I don't think MDL should come up. Oh, really? Uh, <laughs> yes. So it's quite, like, well, it's because, not out there, but it's like, yes. Uh, well, so I really like Van Gogh's um, paintings, but when you learn, because like he, passed away he passed away first and then he became famous right yeah. so he was a this troubled person who was traveling around europe painting he was probably had severe mental health issues and people just didn't take him seriously mm -hmm. and i just want to know are you okay uh, <laughs> like are you all right like, going on do you know what here? i mean like like it's one of those things where you just want to think about if you were a fly on the wall and you just because there's so many stories about him yeah. and what people make of his journey or whatever it is but is it even true because like you don't know that people are just never know it could have been made up based uh -huh. on his like letters or like his paintings or whatever right so in my head i'm like i wish i could i could be just on the side just like watching what's happening and how he's they painting fly the yeah fun. yeah and and when we're in the table together, it's like we're having this discussion about your stories, about your life. I just want to know this. Freddie Mercury's in the background screaming. I, exactly, <laughs> exactly. And what will we have for food? See, it's well, but see, see a question like that. Yeah. I think if you ask somebody, if I ask you again next week, you'd have a different answer. I might have a different, yeah. I might I have a different opinion. It, uh, just, it just really differs on how I feel that yeah. <laughs> today. Like, no, that's a good answer. Yeah, yeah. Uh, because, because like, I actually think about it all the time. Like, to be honest, like, prepared <laughs> <laughs> i like because i just i just want to know you know uh, and you, you'll never it's one of those information that you just never know you'll yeah, never understand what uh, this person has gone through because they're not alive anymore and also you just have all these stories that people came up with yeah you just you just don't know and it's not fair <laughs> i just want to know <laughs> yeah. well, and if we're and if we're together i guess we would be having i'm a spritz person so i would right. have like not pasta necessarily, but 
um, charcuterie. So like an aperitivo vibe. So nice. we'll have spritz, we'll have some cured meats, mm -hmm. we'll have some cheeses, we'll have some grapes, we'll have all these stuff together. I think Freddie Mercury would love that because he yeah. would be like, yeah. and then like Van Gogh would just be drinking wine. I don't yeah. know. But like, <laughs> do you know what I mean? Like, and then we'll just like sit together. And if you want, <laughs> obviously you'd be getting your cured meats and stuff for Santa Lucia. Yes. <laughs> yeah, but if you yeah. weren't getting them for there, where would you go? Oh, if it's not Santa Lucia. Because we are, we, we, Mm -hmm. Laurie prepares a nice board in the house sometimes. Uh -huh. Lidl's own stuff. Oh yes, Fantastic. actually, exactly. Like Fantastic. no, that's true. Some of their um, ready plates, like uh, sharing platters, are yeah. really good. Actually, uh, it might be a bit bougie, but Martin Spencer's do really good cheeses and stuff. Bougie? It is bougie, <laughs> but there are some boxes that are just ready. Well, so if you're having Freddie Mercury around, then you're having Freddie Exactly. You're going, you're going, yeah. I'll have some little stuff as well, but like, the cheeses might be from Marcus yeah. Spencer, you know what I mean? Because it's like a few have different... You names at the dinner table? Uh, exactly, like exactly. exactly. And then like, we have to have some bougie things and then we'll just like sprinkle in some <laughs> little stuff as well, yeah, just to fill up the charcuterie, you know, Definitely. like, yeah. <laughs> so then going forward, <laughs> so there, Mm -hmm. Anything exciting in the pipeline? Anything exciting coming up for yourself? This year. In Santa Lucia, anywhere? Anywhere. So, plant. there are a few things. I can't really disclose Santa Lucia plans, but there are a few things coming up. I'm looking forward to hearing them off camera. Yes, yes, yes. <laughs> there are a few things happening with Santa Lucia yeah. this year, which will be great. I'm very excited to work with them about uh, for it. I'm planning on traveling a little bit more this year as well, so there'll be some travel content. And Will you get anything booked now, travel wise? And yeah, so the plan definitely Poland again because I'm um, one of my best friends is getting married, so we're gonna do like a you know, I'll be in a Polish wedding. Oh yeah. my gosh, like it'll be so fun! Is it over in Poland? Then? Yeah, yeah, oh, brilliant. so it's gonna be wild, I think, nah. because I think. Polish people have like vodka bottles on each table and stuff. I think they have vodka in their cereal in the morning. <laughs> exactly. Their yeah, exactly. As well. So it's just going to be an experience, which, uh, is, uh, which I think I'll, I might fantastic. make a video about. Um, what do you mean you might? <laughs> depends on we, how we drunk I end up that day. <laughs> like whether will. or not. And we all know I'll you be, as well. Whether or not I'll be able to stand up and uh, like have, have a video recording, you know. And then hopefully at the end of the year, also Australia to travel because like my my friend lives there right. so i would really love to visit her my wee brother then, he stays in manchester maybe he's talking about going to australia yeah october thing. yeah sure yeah and it's warm there over. it'll be about summertime there yeah. so i think it's just to cut the the winter yeah. just to, to break up the winter season yeah. and then a few things sprinkle around like italy or whatever so that that's exciting and in terms of partnerships potentially more stuff with just eat and yeah, that's in the pipelines. I can't really think of anything more. Probably just a lot, like festivals coming up or whatever. It's I'll be festival at, season, isn't it? Yes, like and yet? exploring Scotland. I'm gonna be. I'm gonna put it on my list. Yes, doing more, see well, more of Scotland. Just ask me like which day trips you can do. Uh, I'll let you know. Like <laughs> I'll give you a whole. I honestly can't believe how little I've seen of it. No, you just start. Start slowly. Start. I've done Ben Nevis though. That's great. I've done Ben Nevis. Never you climbed Ben Nevis. Huh? I still haven't climbed Ben Nevis. I've yet. never climbed a hill. <laughs> and, and you managed and, and to I've do Ben Nevis? So my dad and my brother are quite, this is so off topic, I know, but they, they're keen hill, hill walkers. walkers. They're Monroe baggers. Ah, uh, Monroe uh, baggers, right. I think you call them. <laughs> uh, and they're like, we're going to do Ben Nevis. I said, I'll do Nevis, man. Okay. up, my dad's like, oh, you need to pack them. Shorts and t-shirt, up we go. How long did you take? I'm not too sure. I think it was, was it a full day thing? Uh, I think like all, seven hours all in, okay, up okay. and down. I'm sure. That's I'd, great. I would need to double check it. If that was your first, uh, then other hills and all this but stuff would be easy. Do you know what you know? uh -huh. I was neither like. <laughs> You're just like, all right. <laughs> I, like, I, I never thought. There were a lot of people oh, there, weren't there? I, probably tons of people. I never got like a sense of oh, accomplishment. Uh, oh. Well, it might be so. It's an achievement to climb the tallest yeah. mountain, but I think what I've heard from people who climb it, like the views aren't the best, and also the actual summit itself yeah. isn't that pretty. I don't know because it's I've a never long climbed walk, it. I thought. <laughs> Maybe it's not but, your thing, yeah. but you can always do. There's other. Things oh, that no, that's a lie. Because I've done Ben Lomond. I've done Ben Lomond. Oh, there you go. So you've got two. I've done yeah. two. Yes, that's great. That's more than most people. Fly. There. <laughs> there's <laughs> other other smaller ones that you could easily do then. Uh, on I'll a hill, Ben on all that stuff. So uh, <laughs> yeah. Do your finger. Yeah. Yes. 
But thanks for your time. Of course. Thanks Thank you so much on. for for chatting with me. No, it's been so you. fun. Yeah. I'll make sure I'll have Sarah's socials. Yes. All tag. I'll have them in the descriptions in the bios or whatever. Yes. So thanks for watching. Thank you. I'll be sure to tag me, like, subscribe, and the yes. YouTube channel. But I'll see you next time. Thank you. Bye. <laughs>